morning boys and girls, happy Tuesday and welcome to today's maths. So we're carrying on with our number blocks express. So the first thing we're going to do is some counting to warm up our maths brains. We should turn up our, turn on our maths brains, make sure we're thinking mathematically. Now you need a partner or an adult or somebody to work with with this, somebody at home. I haven't got anybody here, everybody's at lunch. So I'm going to lean over here and I'm going to use a puppet. This looks like a very friendly puppet. Okay, so what we're going to do, just come to say hello to you. Hello. What we're going to do today is we're going to do some counting up to 20 and back to one, but we're going to take turns with our partner. So I'm going to be number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13, 4, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so take turns with the grown up to get all the way to 20. What do you notice about the numbers you say and the numbers the grown up says? Off you go. What did you notice? Wow, fantastic. One person is saying the odd numbers. One person is saying the even numbers. Brilliant, well done. Let's see if that works when we do it backwards because things don't always work backwards in the same way. So this time, one person's going to start from 20 and go back down to one, okay? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, even zero. See if the same thing happens when you go backwards. Off you go. Welcome back. Does it happen the same? It does. It's like a pattern. One person says the odd numbers, one person says the even numbers. Did you say odd or even? And did you say the same both times? Brilliant, well done. That's some really good mathematical thinking. There's loads of patterns in maths. That's what's amazing about maths. Although it can sometimes seem a bit tricky, <clears throat> when you know the patterns, you've got really good clues about where your answer is going. So, but look out for patterns in maths. That's gonna make it so much easier. Right, we're watching the Number Blocks Express again, so pause the video here and enjoy. Okay, welcome back. So, what we're going to need now is you can, we're going to start, I'm going to start with five, but you can also make a tower of ten. That's up to you. Then, what you need is, which I haven't got, because I forgot to get it. We're going to imagine Miss Nicholas has got it. A... <laughs> A dice, okay? You're going to need a dice or to be honest, if you haven't got a dice at home, because not everyone does, there are some online you can Google or just number cards. Turn them over so you can't see which number's which and then turn one over. So, start with your tower as your whole. So you can draw a part whole model to help you here. I've got it on my board so I can show you, but you use real towers. Okay, so choose your number to take away. So I've not rolled dice, I've chosen number one. So I would take away one, okay? And then I am left with four. So my number five, which was my whole, has been split into a one and a four. And that matches my number sentence. Five, take away one equals four. So have a little go at that, boys and girls by making your hole, rolling your dice to find your first part, find your second part, and turn it into a subtraction number sentence. Off you go. Welcome back, well done for doing five, or even if you challenge yourself to, to 10, well done for doing either of those. That is fantastic. So let me put my tower back together. Oh, look at that like a real tower now. It's clever. I didn't know it did that. You learn something new every day. So now we're going to turn our towers 
into subtraction stories. So now I don't have any blocks. Let's say my blocks are monkeys. I'm going to turn to a story about monkeys. There were five monkeys at the zoo. Let's find another card to pick up. And three ran away and escaped into the forest. Which left two monkeys in the zoo. So I've taken exactly what we've just done and turned it into a story. There were five monkeys in the zoo, but three escaped and ran away, which left me two monkeys in the zoo. Okay, this time I'm not going to have monkeys. And remember, you can do this with a tower of 10 or you can do this with a tower of 5. You challenge yourself with what you think is right for you, boys and girls, because it's the same skills regardless of how big that number gets. Even if we were to take it to 100, same skills. So just making the number bigger doesn't always mean harder. Same skills. Right. There were five chocolates in Miss Nicholas's bag. Miss Selwyn stole four, four chocolates she stole, which left Miss Nicholas with just one chocolate in her bag. You can tell I made up that story because it's more likely that I stole chocolates from Miss Selwyn. So there were five chocolates in Miss Nicholas's bag. And five, four, sorry, was stolen by Miss Selwyn. Which meant there was just one left in Miss Nicholas's bag. Okay, so this is your opportunity now to stop the video and make up your own subtraction stories, okay? It could be about chocolate, it could be about elephants, it could be about monkeys, whatever you feel like. And like I said before, it's the same skills. If you want to make the number bigger, that's absolutely fine, but you are still using the same skills of language and turning stories and word problems into part whole models and number sentences. Off you go. Okay, welcome back. So here is your final challenge. Now, for some of you, this might be a little bit too tricky and that's okay. So work with a grown up if it's feeling. This line's vision phone is running out of battery. Um, if it's too tricky for you, then work with a grown up. If it's not, I wonder if you could do some of this on your own. So this is where we start to challenge children to work more independently. So in these problems here, we're missing not the now, not the part like we've been working on, we're missing the then. So here's my story. I had eight bottles hanging on my wall. Some fell off and I'm left with six. So how many are, how many fell off? So if I put that into my part whole model. Oh, come in. I had eight to start with. So we can go back to using our cubes. Let's get three more. Title okay. There we go. I've got eight in my hole. One, two, three, four, five, six are left. So six at the end. We're still on the wall. How many fell off? Yeah, two. Okay. So this parent is where part whole models are amazing for working out missing number problems amazing for working out word problems because once you've drawn one of those the answer suddenly becomes really obvious okay so if we go back first we had eight bottles how many fell off can you remember two and then that left six so oh dear come down a bit same sort of problem here first the carrot the rabbit had eight carrots he ate some but we don't know how many and there was five left. And actually the tricky bit, if we keep going, that one has got the now. Look at this last one. <gasps> How many did they start with? That one's very, very tricky. 
How many flowers were there? Three blew away, there is two left. How many were at the beginning? So in that problem, we've got the parts, but not the whole. So we're working backwards, okay? So that is very tricky. I will show you how to work that one out in a minute. I want you to pause the video now and have a go at some of those missing. So if you can't print those off, just tell the stories together and use your cubes, use the part whole models, make those links, and then you can record them however you like. Okay, come back to me when you've given that a go. Off you go. Okay, welcome back. I said I'd go through that last tricky one at the end. So what do we know? The first thing we always think about is what do we know? Oh my gosh, I'm throwing away cubes. So let's go a blank part of whole model. We don't know how many flowers we started with, but we do know that three flew away. And we know that we're now left with two. So, ooh, come back. We're now left with, where's it gone? Here. We're now left with two, okay? So we had three flew away and we're left with two. So how many did we start with? We put them back together and you should have got five, okay? So well done if you managed to work that out and well done even if you had some adult help working that out. We'll do lots more problem solving as we move through the year. So don't worry, you haven't got to be an expert straight away. Well done for your hard work today, boys and girls, and I will see you tomorrow for more subtraction.